take a look at the next question. We want to maximize, minimize the function with constraint x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth equals to one. We're going to apply the Lagrange multipliers method. We find the gradient of f and set it equals to the lambda gradient of g or the vector 2x, 2y, 2z equals to lambda for x cubed uh, and for y cubed and for z cubed. So our very first step after finding the gradients is form the system of equations using algebra. 2x is equal to lambda for x cubed. 2y is equal to lambda for y cubed and 2z is equal to lambda for z cubed. We need to consider different scenarios, different cases. In the first case, we have the possibilities that none of these variables are zero. X is not zero, Y is not zero, and Z is not zero. What's the meaning of that? It means that we can divide this by X, divide this by Y, and divide this by Z, and isolate our lambda. It helps us to solve the system. So this is your very first case. From the first case, you get your lambda equals to 2x divided by 4x cubed, or lambda is 1 over 2x squared. The second equation, your lambda is 2y over 4y cubed, or lambda is 1 divided by 2y squared. And the last equation gives you 2z divided by 4z cubed, or lambda is 1 divided by 2 z squared. We can write it this way. Left hand sides are equal to each other. Right hand sides must be equal as well. So by setting these two equal to each other, you get x squared equals to y squared. By setting these two equal to each other, this is a system of equations. Any method will work. As long as you can apply those methods, algebraic method, then you're fine. x squared equals to z squared. We're going to use these relations and the constraint to find the missing values. So substitute into the constraint. What do we get? We get x to the fourth plus, and y, y to the fourth is now x to the fourth plus x to the fourth equals to one, or 3x to the 4th is 1, or x to the 4th is 1 over 3, or x is plus minus 1 over the 4th root of 3. So this is my x. Now I need to plug x back into these equations and find the values for y. So remember that x squared is equal to y squared, or y is equal to plus minus x. So y becomes if x is positive, you're going to get plus minus 1 over the fourth root of 3. And if y is negative x, you have the negative positive 1 over the fourth root of 3. So in general, your y becomes plus minus 1 over the fourth root of 3. And since x squared is equal to z squared, the same scenario, z is plus minus x or z is plus minus 1 over the fourth root of 3. Now we need to have all of these combinations. Points using these combinations. But if you plug in these combinations into the original function to find the output value, for example, if just one of these points is plugged into this function, since you have exponent 2, all of the negative disappear, right? So you get, for example, 1 over 4, the fourth root of 3, to the second power plus 1 over the fourth root of 3, to the second power, plus 1 over the fourth root of 3, to the second power, which is equal to 1 over square root of 3 plus 1 over square root of 3 plus 1 over square root of 3 or 3 over square root of 3. You just rationalize this and cancel out these and it becomes square root of 3. So this